What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Russell Street Riot. I'm Matt Costantini. Before we hop into this week's riot, let's rewind this thing back to last week. Monday night, Houdat Nation is going to be begging for the Ravens to head back to the bus station because the Ravens are on a path of NFC South destruction. And there's no amount of Drew Brees ass-kissing by wincy-faced John Gruden that'll change it. The Ravens win it on Monday night, 35-27. I guessed the game within one point, but it doesn't matter because I took the under. It must be nice being in the NFC South where you can be 2-9 and nine and still have a legitimate hope for the playoffs. I guess we shouldn't be so hard on the NFC South this year because if it wasn't for those trash fire teams, no one would be accusing the AFC North of being the best division in football. It's hard not to be 7-4 and four when you get spotted four wins. The Steelers are so bad they even screwed that up. Remember back when going to the Superdome was a surefire loss? Well, technically, it still is if you're the Saints. In all fairness to the South, the Ravens' secondary is really stellar, though. One starting quarterback only has half of a knee. The other one... What the hell's the other one's name? Steve Smith attacked Kenny Vaccaro on the sidelines, and the rest are so scared of Steve Smith, they flagged Vaccaro. Steve Smith's a psycho. But he's our psycho. Terrence Brooks felt so bad for Drew Brees, he gave him a touchdown. Elvis Doomerville is second in the NFL in sacks. Haloti Nada and CJ Mosley have more interceptions than Darrell Revis and Richard Sherman. This weekend, the Ravens take on the Chargers and Phillip Rivers. Everyone talks about whether Phillip Rivers is an elite quarterback or not. How many elite quarterbacks do you know that have never even sniffed the Super Bowl? Hey, Phil, you know who does win Super Bowls? Eli Manning. Does anybody else watch Eli Manning and wonder how the hell that guy beat the Patriots twice in the Super Bowl? You know what, though, Chargers fans? I'll definitely take a bolo tie wearing hissy fit throwing red face jerked over a Lombardi trophy any day. This is the football god's way of telling you your quarterback is a f***. I can't wait until he retires so he can get an analyst job at ESPN and cry every time he looks at Trent Dilfer and realizes that guy won a ring and I didn't. Check out these videos and more on RussellStreetReport.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for new Russell Street rides every week.